inch and five sixteenths thirteen millimeter Twenty seven torques on the pump. That's when you grab the right socket. Works on the pan. Pan is also your filter, which makes it really cheap. the linkage in it, but uh, the only thing it's got is a cable that comes and hooks into here, and that's your emergency release, and in case the electrical part of it fails so that you can get it out of park. Everything about this unit is electronic. This is your solenoid that allows it to come out of park and put it in park. So. It makes it really difficult putting this manual valve on here because it's spring loaded. <coughs> so the units that don't have all electric, this solenoid wouldn't be there. You can see these, uh, there's a little tab right here you push back and lift up. That allows your pass through connector to come out. You see these solenoids are what look like yellow and green. They're actually white and blue. Uh, and then you got the one black, which is your pressure solenoid. Okay, let's see, 40 torques on this also. <laughs> Go. 
All right, if you look on here, there's numbers written on here, BO53. You take this valve body apart, this uh, plate has silicone embedded sealer on it. When you take it apart, it's going to pull all that apart more than likely. 99% uh, of the time it does. I've had a couple of instances where the plate was still okay, but you're going to have to order a plate if you're going to take this valve body apart. And uh, this is your computer in here. This thing right here, horribly bad about breaking. Now I also keep it from coming out of park. something with a little bit of a bend to it. Pull these seals out of the center support. get a pry bar and I get in here pop my pump out you got a shim on the back of your pump here bushings are horrible on these units always put a bushing kit if you're not going to put a whole bushing kit you're definitely going to be putting this one in there or it's never going to work right. You're also going to want to put this in here, but just put a whole bushing kit in it. Bushings are super critical on these light model units. Uh, 30 torques on the <coughs> bolt, uh, pump bolts here. Make sure you're not ring cut up inside that stator, but I haven't seen one yet. And knock your pump body and gears out on the other side. I usually leave this all together. Uh, Take it apart so you can see what's in there. There's nothing in there. Um, if you're going to put it in a cleaning machine, you're probably going to want to take it all apart. I usually just hand wash that. May have to get it over there and press it out. press it out. Alright, this is what you got. Your stator and the other half. You do want to check this surface right here. Make sure it's not eat up from your pump gears. Always mark my pump gears. Recess side faces down, dot up. Looks like we got dots on the outside gear. Face up. I 
and it looks like one stuck with the bevel. Ooh, the bevel plate's broke. I believe that's the first time I've seen that. I normally put this in a hole in the table. Here's the opening of the snap ring. Just go 180 off of the snap ring. Get in there and uh, pop that snap ring out. Okay, you're going to be like this. Let me put this in a hole on the table. Alright, there's their snap ring. Got the bearing on the back here. That's just the race. Clutch hub. Bearing in the center here, you can leave that in there. Just make sure it's not all pitted. Input shaft. Bearing on the back of our drum. Like before I go taking that off, I should air check this and make sure the drum is not cracked. Cushion plate, it's not cracked. Alright, that bearing's going to stay in there. Let's make sure it ain't pitted. This bearing on top. Cushion plate, it's not broke. Alright, I'm going to push this uh, down and the snap ring clips in from the outside here. So we're going to have to push it in. Alright, this clip is not wanting to come out. I'm not sure. It's because this bevel plate broke. I'll work on that in a minute. snap ring or clip or retainer and the snap ring goes down inside of it piston bell valve spring balance piston zip tie all that together
Let's see. Snap rings at the 12 o'clock. Let's see if we can get our snap ring pliers down in there. Some of these are not so easy. started. Yeah. Beveled spring uh, snap ring. It's beveled on both sides. camera it wants to be difficult. I don't know what it is. This normally just slides right out. Alright. Gotta race. Cushion plates okay. Got these two lugs that fit in here. They're gonna fall out, so just go ahead and take them out. We got a piston on this side. We got a piston on this side. So on this piston here, we got two different deals. Um, I find it easier to take the half moons off, and then it, this comes off. Just go ahead and mark this because it's got to go back this way. So it just makes it easier. Here's a bevo plate. These are two half moons. These will just push down now and these will just come out. These little legs sit there and these little tips sitting right in here. piston will come up, the middle piston will come out, just let that drain a little bit, go ahead and zip tie all this together.
our snap ring retainer bevel plate and then our piston Zip tie that together. And we got our set of clutches. Cushion plate on top. That's okay. Our sun gear. I usually just leave all this together. This is all chewed up, you're replacing it all anyway. Let me show you what's in there. There we go. We got a bearing, the tapered end up. Another bearing on the back. And we got a race down in here. it was bad bearing on the back it's gonna stay so I'm just gonna leave it ring gear with their shim shim that goes on the back of here goes up against that bearing and then on the back side there's another shim that goes on the output shaft flange all right let me see if I can get this drum apart yes you might want to see that this uh little retainer here the snap ring goes down around it right there that's what keeps it in place if we get this bevel plate off of there there we go finally let loose yeah we're snapped right there now there's another snap ring down inside here. You got to get that off before the piston will come out. It's not spring loaded, so we don't have to put it in the press. Gonna, gonna replace the piston. It's looking a little, a little screwed up where that plate was at. I don't know. It might be okay. Tie this together. Um, there it is. I knew it was missing a drum. Okay.
electrician plates okay. And on this drum, in order to get it apart, you're going to have to get you a scribe. You're going to get in here, right on the edge inside there. And there's a snap ring that holds this planet down inside the, the drum. Once it starts, there we go, it starts getting a little easier. Just don't let it drop back down in there. There we go. This is a snap ring that you're pushing on right here. You're coming in. Coming in right through there. You're pushing the snap ring off these little tabs down here. Sun gear with the bearing in the back, race in the front. Nothing here. Be careful and don't screw that up. This has to line up a certain way, so I just scrab marks where the little tabs are sitting. And you never need a pair of snap ring pliers like that. Snap ring, piston, bellow plate, and our other piston. All right, let me go right this one up. All right, and do an LS kit, filter, and bushing kit. And a separator plate is a BO53, a zip kit, and that uh, Belleville plate is from uh, WIT is a 49975A, dealer number is a 6L2Z-7B488-AA. Uh, we've got some problems at this on the front here, some of the things it came in for. Said it won't move. Takes off on fourth when you can get it to move. Have a 3 2 ratio, clutch E ratio, clutch A over temperature, park lock, implausible. It's supposed to be a 507B according to what I found, but it's a 507C. Um, some of the things that can cause this is some of the stuff wore out in the valve body. So, um, we're either going to have to buy the reamers from Sonax or Transgo seems to offer. I'm not sure how much this is going to cost. SK6R80-A. Those are uh, drop-in valves. This uh, 6R80-VBR dash WT that's the valve that say that wears out that uh, causes a lot of this and it comes with the reamer so future kits I wouldn't need to buy the reamer I just buy the this valve but I'm not sure how they're gonna want to go here they might just want to buy a valve body and we wouldn't have to buy the zip kit or the um, separator plate and plus we'd get solenoids and everything on it so uh, one other thing I wanted to mention on these units right here 
you'll see on this transmission it's got different numbers. It's got the serial number and then right below here it says well, we call it Stupel. I, I don't know what it really how you pronounce it. It's S-T-U-E-C-K-L. Need that number. It's a 1068 and then whatever numbers are behind here. This one's a 010166. That's going to tell you what uh, parts are used in this transmission. Anytime you call a dealer, they're going to want that number. And a lot of times when you call Transtar and Wit, they're going to want that number too. So, see what we can do.